<sighs> okay. Oh, hi, didn't see you there. That's a tacky fucking way of doing it, I'm sorry. But, ah, uh, good day and twit. Well, actually, good evening and twerbians. I'm not gonna lie when I say that the following was absolutely fucking busy in work today. It really was. I didn't get a chance to vlog. You may be thinking to yourself, how the hell happened? What happened? And also, you look like shit. Well, I'll be more than happy to tell you. I left home. To start a track to work at around about quarter to twelve. Got to, let's see, from downtown Oneida to the upper part of Oneida in just under 20 minutes. Cross the road to get to KFC and I had a call from my boss. He said, Jim, Jim, are you, you're in at one, right? And I said, yep, I'm just passing KFC. I'm heading down to Duncan's and such to get a coffee. Because it was quite quiet today. Ish. He says, okay. Grab your coffee and could you come straight into work and you can clock in early at the earliest 12.45. Now I'm, oh well, 12.45 on, yeah. Now I'm not in until around about 1. But I got there by 12.30. And it's been non-stop work ever since. Trying to get one thing done, then another, then another, then another, then another. I just feel as though... I don't know. And I'm trying to get several things going at once. Pulling signs from the store in which had expired. Getting Christmas trees sorted into deals. And helping customers out. Helping my team out. And just feeling absolutely shattered. That by the time it got to around about 5, 6 in the evening. It slowly started to die down. That I started to do my own little project well first off i was going to do my own things with schedule and stuff for my side but when i'm sitting in my office or the manager's office i see no wood of a light it kind of looked like a mess so what did i do i cleaned i cleaned a bit there i helped my team but just trying to get numbers in it's such a cow muddy <sighs> by the time i got out of fucking work at quarter to ten, I was tired. I just went with the price chopper, bought a tin of soup, fucking <laughs> tin of soup, and some cake. Cause I I want another fat day. I want more cake. I was watching more episodes of The Crown, and I'm gonna be full heartedly honest when I say this. But this season of The Crown is kind of not hitting. I know it's telling the story about the royal family and such to an extent. But this season, it kind of doesn't hit all the buttons for me. Fair enough, it's telling the story about, well, Charles and Diana. In which I kind of look at that sometimes and I think... And there are moments with bloody Thatcher, Margaret Thatcher, because they're setting this in the 80s. And I'm just like, oh, God, Thatcher's just... Shut the fuck up, Thatcher. That's all I can say. But Jill Anderson, who portrays her in the show, bravo, I will say. It's kind of better than Meryl Streep. Don't tell her I said that. She may actually kill me. Oh, she doesn't even watch it. Who gives a shit? But, uh... Oh, quite good. Well, performance, but still. Kind of a... I blip in and out of it, and it's something... I don't know. It's kind of a... With me. With this season. Kind of a swing and miss. And I think it's Olivia Coleman's last season as this version of the Queen because I think they only get what two seasons we had Claire Foy 
for two seasons. Now we have Olivia Colman for two seasons. I think they're going to go with the actress who portrayed as Professor Umbridge in the Harry Potter films as the queen for the next, for the last two to bring it all round to the generation. But to be honest, if you're going to go with queens and actresses that play as well as queens, uh, Helen Mirren. Sorry. She's the best queen, I think. She was brilliant in the sh film, The Queen. And on the stage show, The Audience, in which I got a chance to watch online. And to go from young queen to modern queen in just a change of address like that, it's... Oh, yeah. And that's my thoughts. It's uh, The Crown Season 4 is kind of... Uh, because I think we're coming up to the age... With the 80s and 90s and the noughties and maybe the teenies but still i look back i like the series of young queen elizabeth and so i think the first one two maybe three seasons 70s backwards that's that's more me But mostly it's just doing that, relaxing, I do it, and then I'll sleep. <sighs> Which, I'm going to have to go to bed soon, because I'm going to be up in a good couple of hours, because closing the store, uh, I'm there now at 9am to 3. So I'll 6 hours there, and then Tuesday, 10 hours. By Wednesday, I think I'm going to be in a fucking coma. Let's see what happens. Anyway, thank you. I'm going to go to bed. But thank you guys for watching this teeny tiny little video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have, as always, don't forget to hit that like button. I'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand spanking new day. Hopefully you'll be better than the rest. But until then, take it easy, guys. Nice